one integrated fertility symposium and a healthy seminars community unity immunity lecture our talk today is by Jane, our practice management software group. They are a platinum sponsor at the 2021 Integrated Fertility Symposium. Um, I'm the chair, Lauren Brown. I'm also an acupuncturist in Vancouver called AccuBalance Wellness Center. And we've been using Jane for many years. And so I'm excited um, to have Jane and Alex from Jane to sh share some tips and tricks, answer your questions about electronic medical record keeping, online booking, charting, insurance billing, just this software is amazing. And like anything, when you find something you love that you like, you wanna share. And so for years um, in the infancy, when Jane started and we started using it, um, we were sharing it on social media and they've been a, a regular sponsor of the Integrated Fertility Symposium. And they've grown into an incredible software worldwide like they're all over the world like you can use it doesn't matter where you're from sandro's in the background there doing tech help he's also a moderator at, um, at healthy seminars and he's an acupuncturist in ireland he uses jane app as well the jane software so um we're going to kind of ask uh, we'll have some polls going but we're, we'll start one fairly soon we're going to be asking who's using jane and who's new because some of you are probably using jane and you'll like this um, first talk that we're going to do because it's going to give you some tips and tricks and then some of you are new or maybe using a software that you're not sure that it's the right fit for you and you want to know more about Jane and you'll like the first lecture. And then the second lecture um, in this, in this uh, webinar, um, we'll give you a, a quick overview. And they're short lectures. One is 14 minutes, one is 11 minutes. So really short lectures. And then we're going to have Q&A with Alex Hamilton from the, the Jane team here to uh, answer your questions. I just want to show you a few things here on the... Uh, Integrated Fertility uh, Symposium website. So when you get to the IF Symposium website and you go to sponsors and go to Jane, you can see that we have a page set up from Jane um, and they have a special this month. So if you are new to Jane, check out their page and the coupon code is IF, IFS1, numeral one month, and they got a deal for new users. Um, if you wanna watch these lectures again, they'll be on their sponsor page. And we have a bonus lecture for you guys. Um, last year for IFS 2020, which was canceled, we had Jane put together a telehealth lecture. You guys remember May of 2020 when we were all locked down um, and telehealth started happening? Well, Jane came to the, to the rescue for us and created a telehealth feature inside their software. So telehealth video conferencing, HIPAA compliant, they made available. And we had one of their experts who uses a practitioner who uses telehealth come on and share how they use the telehealth and use the Jane software. And so that's on their page as well. So if you go to healthyseminars.com on the top menu, click IFS 2021, you will come to this website and then just click on sponsors and then click on. Um, I'm just going to get. Um, uh, I'm going to stop the share here. I'm going to try it again here. And I'm just going to get a quick intro because people always say, what is Jane? And rather than me tell you, I'm going to get Alex to tell you. And this is on their, their page. Hey there, I'm Alex from the Jane team. And I'm so excited to say that once again this year, Jane will be supporting IFS. In case you haven't heard of us, Jane is a modern and beautifully designed practice management software. You might not necessarily love that admin side of running your business. You probably just want to treat your clients. So you need a software that just works. Um, whether you're running your practice solo or part of a multidisciplinary clinic, Jane's going to help simplify and speed up your business. Uh, some of our favorite features include online booking, telehealth sessions, electronic charting, online payments, and automatic patient forms and reminders. And that's just the start. When you're ready, you can use the code IFS one month at the time of sign up, and we'll apply a one month grace period to your account as a small gift from Jane to you for a smooth transition. Sounds good? Check us out over at Jane.app and tell us about you and your clinic. We can't wait to hear from you. Thanks a lot. Now we're going to bring up our first um, lecture. It's going to be on tips and tricks. It's about 11 minutes, I believe. Um, post your questions in the chat. And so we'll collect those. And if there's any questions after the first video, Alex is going to answer those questions. Um, and then we're going to go and do the second video, which is only 14 minutes, 14 minutes and remind you that these videos and the bonus video on 
it's a really good lecture on bringing telehealth into your practice, like tips of um, bringing in the telehealth, not just how to use it on Jane, but just some great tips um, for telehealth. So without any further ado, we're going to start this video. We're going to put a few polls in the chat room because we want to know more about you, but let's get this started. Thank you everybody for joining me today. I am really, really excited to show you some of my favorite things about Jane. I'm logged in as Michael Carroll on our demo clinic and our demo clinic is set up as a multi-location, multi-practitioner clinic. It's great, we get to play in it all the time, try things out, break things, fix them, all that. So I'm in the staff profile in our chart templates here and I've already set up some, some chart templates that I like to use. So I've got things like my clinical history, I've got some desk stretches here, I've got external communication, I've got one for imaging, initial assessments, and a subsequent treatment. As you can see here, I have lots of them. And that's one of the things that Jane can work really great for you is having those multiple chart templates to make your life easier. When we're building out templates, we tend to build them and then figure out that, hmm, maybe that's not quite the way that I work things. So we can always come in here and we can edit them. We can rename them. We can move things around so that they are in the order that we want to have them in. I found that when we were transitioning from paper into electronic charts, that the way we thought we did things wasn't really the way that we did things. So being able to come in here and edit them at any point was always one of my favorite things. Also having things already built out. So if you have something like desk stretches or maybe suggested reading materials or something like that, that you often give to your clients or recommend, you can have those preloaded so that you can just drop them into the file. And I will go into the day sheet and do a little bit of that in just a few minutes here. What I like about our chart template library here is that you can come in and look at the chart template library and see ideas. So as you can see here, we have almost 11,000 templates in the chart template library. The chart template library is literally chart templates that you've created and chosen to share with other Jane practitioners. So as you can see here, they are broken up into disciplines. So you can go into your own discipline and have a look. You may find that you recognize names. You may find that somebody is doing something similar to what you're wanting to do. Or you may just kind of get a neat idea for something a little bit different that you thought of doing. I'm just going to pop back over into my chart templates that I've created. So as I was saying, if you have, you know, something that you're wanting to do like chart history, maybe you are transitioning from paper charting into electronic charts and you're scanning your files in or wanting to load them, you can have a chart template that's already set up with that file image option. The nice thing about that is when you actually load it into the patient chart, it's going to be labeled with that chart history. So let's go and have a look at that. I'm going to click on our day sheet here and let's load in maybe a chart history here. So I'm going to click on my patient name and it's going to bring up all the chart entries. I'm going to click on this new chart entry button here and I'm going to choose from my list of uh, chart templates the chart history. So when I come in here, it's already preloaded with that upload option. And you can see up here that I've got the date and I've got the chart history. Now, one of those sneaky things that some people don't realize is you can actually click on this date and change the date if you want to. Another little thing that I love about Jane is this choose file option. And this choose file option lives in a few places within the chart. So this choose file option, if I was to just click on this right now, I'm on my laptop. So it is going to come up and it's just going to ask me to pick the document that I've got saved on my computer. But if you happen to be using something like your phone 
or a tablet, a device with a camera built into it, instead of it bringing up your saved things, it's going to actually ask you if you want to take a picture. And that picture is going to actually load directly into this load area or um, if you're using the body chart into that section, and it is not going to load into your camera roll on your phone. So it's saving directly into the chart and staying off of your phone's personal stuff. That always made me feel really good about using my, you know, our phone or our office iPad for scanning things like x-ray results or imaging results or, or just something that the, the patient wanted to pass on to us. So um, huzzah, a nice little tip there. Another thing that we can do with our charts. So I'm going to click into Addison's here. And Addison, it's been a little bit since she's come to see me, Michael Carroll. But when she does come and see me, she comes and sees me for a lot of the same things. And that's great. One of the things that I can do to speed up my charting is I can always come over into that, that chart entry. And I can choose to duplicate that chart entry. So when I make a duplicate here, what it's going to do is it's going to make an exact replica of that initial chart entry that I made. And now what I can do is just come in here and take out the things that aren't um, required for today's treatment. And now I've got that. Now, another thing that happens when we chart from the day sheet is when we click on an appointment and load that chart, it's going to actually load that appointment directly onto my chart entry. So I have that logged there. If I am charting for a patient, maybe again, they've just dropped off something or I want to do that external communications, I'm going to uh, chart from their client tab. And then that's not going to load the appointment there. So the difference in there, whether or not we want to get that appointment, click on the appointment that they have, it'll load the appointment on it. If you click directly in from the patient profile, it won't. I'm going to sign this chart. And it's going to give me this little locked symbol there. Another one that I really like is the body chart. So the body chart, sometimes when I'm talking to people, either um, friends of mine that are practitioners or just live at conferences or something, I'll be talking to people and they'll be like, you know, I don't really use that body chart because it doesn't really work for me. But you can change this image. Now you could change that when you are creating the chart template itself, but you can also change it from the actual patient's chart entry. So again, if I click into this change image, and I'm using a phone, it's going to ask me if I want to take a picture. And then that is going to load here. And then I'm able to draw on it or use my pointer tool to make notes. We can click on this to edit it. So if I don't want it to say body chart, it doesn't have to say body chart. I can edit that word. The product performance report, I personally think, is one of Jane's lesser known reports. I talk to people about this one all the time and they say, that one doesn't apply to me. I don't sell products. But this report isn't just products. It's about your treatments as well. And actually, you can choose all purchasable types or if you want to look at only appointments or only products, you can do that as well. Again, you can filter by specific staff members as well. So how I like to use this report is gathering kind of historical information. If I'm wondering about, you know, what I did in 2018 versus 2019 versus 2020, I can pull that time range. Now, in my mind, this report just gets stronger and stronger and stronger the more history you have in Jane. So if you're going through and you want to know, let's say it's Mother's Day is coming up and I've got, you know, products that I sell. And I want to know what products we sold the most of leading up to Mother's Day last year. I can come in, select that time range, and see what my majority of sales were. And then I'm able to actually go in and make sure I have the inventory count that I want or place those orders. So it's kind of a fun report to use to, to gather that info. Or if you maybe on the other side of that want to see, you know, how many initial visits did I do last year at this time compared to this year at this time, you can do that as well. I'm going to 
head over into the My Account area. So clicking on my name up here, Michael's name, um, I can go into the My Account area, and that's actually going to take me over to the patient side. So Jane is going to be looking at me like I'm a patient now. I've got this welcome back Michael area that shows up as a staff member because Jane is a little bit wondering what the heck I'm doing over here, but I'll show you. So we can see those upcoming appointments, our appointment history, intake forms, documents, all those great things. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over into the username and password area. So this is an area that you can always come into anytime you want to change your own username and set your own password. Sometimes we just wanna do that on our own and without having to send ourselves that password reset or maybe we want a new username, this is a nice way that we can come in and do that. The other thing I like about this is this manage sessions area. So this manage sessions area allows you to see all of the places that you are logged in to your account. So here I've got my, my Chrome Mac that I'm in and I could sign myself out. Here I've got an iPhone that I'm signed in as well. So if I don't wanna be signed in on that iPhone anymore, maybe I can't find it and I'm a little bit worried, I can actually come in from any device that I'm logged in and I can end that session. Jane will check with me and there you go. I'm no longer logged in on that device anymore. And I can go in and turn any of them off there or end them all at once. All right, so we are gonna take a question or two and then we're gonna play another video. Uh, one question that I can answer is they said, can we get this email to us? It is on the Jane App sponsor page at the IFS website. Go to Healthy Seminars, click on the IFS 2021 menu, and then when you go to sponsors, go to Jane, and that replay is there for you, as well as the other lecture we're going to play, as well as that bonus lecture I mentioned on how to bring telehealth into your practice. It's also where their coupon code is, so you can find that there. If you're part of the IFS, um, then you can find more things under the form section. So if you're part of the IFS and you want to know some of the special offers like Jane, go to the forms. Again, this is for those registered with IFS. Click on special offers and you can find out all the special offers provided by our sponsors. And as I mentioned, Jane has it listed right here for anybody, whether you're registered or not, you can find it here on the Jane sponsor page. And we're also streaming this on the Healthy Seminars uh, Facebook page and the Integrated Fertility Symposium page. And we'll store it in our community library. So lots of opportunity for you to uh, be able to find that. Um, all right, let's have a question for Alex. And then we're going to play another video that's about uh, 14 minutes long, which is more of a general one because some of you guys are new. And so um, um, we thought we'd play the tips and tricks first and then the other one afterwards. All right, Alex, the question we have is, I'm in the U.S. I've heard great things about Jane as an electronic medical record system. I am... so. Everybody's hearing great things about Jane, likely so. It is a great software. I'm most interested in hearing about the workflow for insurance billing. A biller friend of mine did a demo, but she was a little confused by the billing functionality. Can Jane do it all, or does it require an outside service like Office Alley to manage insurance billing? Yeah, that's. I'm really glad you asked that question, Andy, because I, I actually come from the U.S. support team formerly. Um, in the U.S., or I should just back up a little bit. Jane... Um, Everything for insurance, especially in the U.S., can be prepared in Jane. So everything from all of your billing codes, you can create your whole list of billing codes. You can even create um, like your fee schedule and all of that for, you know, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, Medicare, whoever's paying you. Um, when it comes to actually submitting this, though, so everything can be prepared in Jane. You can create your, um, excuse me, <laughs> you can create all of your files ready. You just need to download the, the download those files right now then you have to take them to a service like office ally or something and in a matter of about i think it's under 10 clicks you can submit that file to office ally office ally will then send your eob back and you can track all of that within jane so the only thing that's happening outside of jane is just that process of actually submitting the file it's not a a one-to-one -one direct submission right now we do need it's a third party direct submission i guess you can say <laughs> so while well, everything in jane you can prepare all your billing codes, prepare everything for submission. The actual submission process does need to be through a third party uh, billing software like Office Ally or 
even like claim MD, Trezetto, or Ability. All right, we have another. We're going to do a couple of questions because we still have another video. So we're going to do maybe another one or two. I am a chiropractor. Is this a good platform, Docs, with multidisciplinary clinics? Yeah, great question. Jane's actually built four multidisciplinary clinics. Um, our our co-founder, Ali, she actually was a former office manager of a multidisciplinary clinic, and she designed Jane from the ground up to be uh, able to use able to be used by any sort of discipline as well as those using multidisciplines. So um, whether it, you're like just a solo chiropractor or you know, you're a multidisciplinary clinic with chiropractors, acupuncturists, everything, Jane can definitely handle that and it was actually designed to handle that. So yes. Yeah, in our clinic, we have acupuncture, naturopathic and um, <clears throat> products and we have uh, massage as well and multiple locations. Um, and then, um, and team, can we put up a poll or two we're going to put up a poll. We just want to know who's here and we'll leave it up for 30 seconds. So if you can um, just fill this poll out. Um, okay. This one's an <laughs> IFS one. So we're just playing with the poll and then we'll do another Jane one too. So leave this up for 30 seconds. And as that poll is happening, um, we have another one for you, um, Alex. I learned about Jane after I'd already signed up a one-year contract with a different company, which is up next month. What type of tutorial and support does Jane offer to get me up and running with this new platform? Excellent question. And again, um, something that we're more than happy to help you with. Um, we totally understand that, you know, if you sign up with a year contract or something with someone else, we can actually help you with that. If you head to our jane.app slash pricing or just the pricing tab within there, um, there's even a section that says, if you're signed up for a contract, click on this link and we can probably help you. Um, when it comes to set, signing up for Jane and getting started with Jane, um, we have a whole slew of different resources available, whether it's our Jane guide, which has um, both like broken down steps for your front desk or even like as a practitioner or even just like a quick starting quick startup. Um, further to that, we also call ourselves a support company with the software um, and we live by that as well. So if you would like to, you can also book an hour uh, on like a in a one on one kind of conversation with us. We can then hop right into your account with you and then we'll be like as if we're side by side on computers, um, building your Jane clinic for you. And you can build, book as many of those as you like. You can call our support line as much as you like. We're open 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., excuse me, every single day Pacific Standard Time. And we're more than happy to talk to you. So please reach out to us if you, uh, even if you're still with your uh, contract and all of that, it takes about two weeks to set up Jane. Um, and we'll be there every step of the way. Excellent. We are going to add, we're gonna have more questions with Alex after the next video. Let's bring up the next video. Um, somebody asked the link for the replay for Jane. We're going to put it in the chat again. An easy way to find it is you go to healthyseminars.com. And from the top menu, you'll see IFS 2021. Click on that. It'll take you to the IFS website. Once you're there on the sponsor page, look for Jane. And it's all listed on the Jane page. So that'll be one easy way. And it will be in the community library as well after the IFS is over. And as I mentioned, it's on our Facebook page. Um, for those that missed the IFS, registration is closed, but we have put um, these lectures available on Healthy Seminars On Demand, so you can check that out as well. All right, now our next lecture. I'm Sophia from the Jane team. Along with myself, we have four fabulous ladies who will be sharing their knowledge about five special areas of Jane. These areas include online booking, scheduling shifts and booking appointments, taking payments, using the chart template library, and last but not least, your clinic branding. So without further ado, we've got Elle who will be taking the spotlight first. Welcome Elle. Hi everyone. My name is Elle and I work on the product team here at Jane. And today I'm going to show you around online booking. So let's get started. The first thing I have to do here as a patient is select the location I'd like to book at. If you don't have two locations, no worries your patients will land on a page that looks just like this. As a patient, I can simply just scroll through the page or maybe I'll use the menu here on the left-hand side to jump down to the service I'd like to book. Today, let's go ahead and book with Maya, our chiropractor. I can choose to book by the service I'm looking for or if maybe there were multiple chiropractors, I could go in and select the practitioner that I preferred. Let's go in today and just choose to book a new patient visit. Now that I've selected my treatment, I can look at the calendar of the availability. There's a few different ways I could navigate here. 
I could use next seven days to just scroll through the week. I could also use my little calendar to jump ahead to a specific day. Let's go ahead and book Friday, April 2nd at 11 a.m. Let's go ahead and say, I'm done. Once I've completed the booking, I'll land here on our thanks for booking page. There's a few things patients can do to get ready for their treatment. One of them would be optioning into different reminders. In your practice, you could have email reminders, you could have SMS reminders, and of course you can customize when you'd like these to go out. You could also take advantage of Jane payments and have your patients put a credit card on file so it's really quick to check them out when they come in. This is of course optional. If you have health history forms, intake forms, or any general paperwork you need the patient to complete before they come in, I'm given the chance to complete that here. As a patient, I could also subscribe my Jane appointments to my calendar, like Google Calendar. And of course, I can review the cancellation policy. It's been an absolute pleasure to show you around Jane's online booking today, and we hope to talk with you soon. Thanks for the tour, Al. Next up, we have Julia. She'll be presenting some exciting changes to Jane's new and improved advanced scheduling feature, and she'll be finishing up by showing how to book an appointment. Hi, I'm Julia, and I'm going to be showing you how to create shifts in Jane and how to book an appointment administratively. Let's get started. To book shifts in Jane, we'll use our brand new advanced shift scheduling functionality. If my staff member already has shifts on the schedule, Jane will auto-populate those shifts into the advanced shift scheduling modal. I can create brand new times for my shifts, adjusting for my start and my end time, and also selecting the room, the availability online, or adding any notes I want to add to my shift. I can also copy existing schedules to other days of the week. Notice Jane kept my Monday, Wednesday, and Friday shifts, but also added Tuesday and Thursday. We can select the date range we want to add the shift schedule for, and also select the location. If there are any other staff members working the same shifts, we can select them at this time. Now let's go back and book an appointment administratively. So I'll select my new patient visit, and you see Jane has shown all the availability for a new patient visit. We'll click on the time, and Jane will reserve the spot. I type in the name of my patient. Notice Jane auto-populated the treatment field, and I can add any insurance to the appointment. Thank you, Julia. My eyes always light up when I see that new shift scheduler. It's going to save our clinic so much time, especially when scheduling holidays. Nice work. We're going to shift our focus now over to Aurelia. Welcome, Aurelia. Hi, my name is Aurelia and I'm from the product team here at Jane. And today I just wanted to walk through the process of collecting a payment for one of your patient's appointments in the schedule. I've already got an appointment brought up here, so you'll notice we have this appointment panel on the right-hand side. When the patient comes in for their appointment, you'll be able to trigger an outstanding balance by clicking the Arrive button. Before paying, uh, you may want to review some of the billing information, so we can scroll down to this billing info section on the side. Firstly, you'll notice there's a breakdown of the subtotal and tax, if applicable, for this appointment. You'll also be able to override the price of the appointment on the fly if needed. This is great for clinics who operate on a sliding scale. You can click on the invoice and make a modification directly to the price. You can also save commonly used discounts as what we call an adjustment. So for example, if Gail maybe is eligible for the friends and family discount, we can search for that here and apply it to the appointment. If your clinic also sells products, maybe you have some rehab equipment like exercise balls or maybe you offer some supplements, um, you'll be able to add those straight from this area as well. You can select from the drop down list and add to the final total which I'll do here. So we'll sell Gail an exercise ball as well. When you're all happy with how the billing looks, we can scroll back up to the top and go ahead and click pay. 
Great, so after you click on the blue pay button, this new receive payment screen will show up. And this is essentially the checkout process for this patient's outstanding invoices. You'll notice that all of the invoices that the patient has not yet paid will be listed here. And this will also include appointments from the past. Jane will present the total, which is $74, and ask how you'd like to pay. In this case, I'm not going to use the account credit, but I'm going to go ahead and select a different payment method. We have a few options. Outside of Jane, these are any payments that are not brokered or facilitated directly within Jane, but I'd like to highlight our Jane Payments credit card processing integration. What this direct integration will allow you to do is collect a payment directly within Jane without the use of an external terminal. Gail's already been in and we have a record of her visa and we can go ahead and pull that up and process the card. When you're all happy with how this looks, you'll be able to go ahead and send a email or print out a receipt for the client. By clicking this pay button, we're gonna finalize the payment and that is going to now update the amount owing to zero dollars. You'll also notice that the receipt has been sent off to the client and they should receive that to the email that they have on file. And that's all there is to it, to collecting a payment. Thanks Aurelia, that was super helpful. I guess it's over to me now to share with you one of my favorite parts of Jane, and that's our chart template library. Chart templates are a wonderful way to save time on charting, and you'll get to explore what other clinics are using to chart for their patients. You may even find new ideas that will help you save you time. This area of Jane can be accessed by clicking Staff in the top blue bar, selecting your name on the left-hand side of the screen, and then selecting Chart Templates. From here, you'll see the Template Library button in the top right-hand corner. The Template Library is a peer-reviewed knowledge base of quite literally thousands of chart templates. These templates have been personally created by members of the Jane community, such as practitioners, administrators, clinic owners, and members of the Jane team. You'll notice that the Template Library has been organized by discipline. When we select a discipline, you'll find a list of templates in order of popularity, with the most popular templates being at the top of our list. Let's take a look at the few at the top. I'm going to select Full Case History and Exam. We can see that some of the charting tools that were used were drop-down menus, range scales, and we even have some posture charts and range of motion charts. These images have just been replaced where the body image used to be, so you will be able to draw on these images directly from your charts. If we like the look of one of these chart templates, we can go ahead and click the blue Add button in the top right-hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and add this well-adjusted soap. Then click the X to exit the chart template library. We'll see that our well-adjusted soap has now been added to the top of my list, and I can click into this to make further edits. I can select different sections of this chart, and I can delete them or make them required. I can also add in default text. If I don't like the order of the sections in this chart, I can click the little three dots on the right-hand side and click the up or down arrow to change the order of things. I can also edit the title of my chart. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the pencil and I'm going to call this Maya's new chart template. Once you're done, you can go ahead and click the blue save button. We have one area of Jane left that I'm super excited to share with you. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass the torch over to our lovely Danny. Hi there, I'm Danny. I'm going to be showing you all about your clinic's branding options and how you can customize your online booking site to match with your clinic's branding. To do this, we're gonna to go to the settings and inside the settings area, you're gonna see on the left-hand side an option for branding. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the color of your online booking site. So we're gonna do this by adding in the primary color. So we're gonna click on this color swatch. There are a few colors you can choose from here on the left, or you can also use this color picker on the right. If you do know the hex number for your primary color, you can also just add it in here. If you use quite a light color, you're gonna get this alert. This alert is kinda of letting you know that there's a lot of white text that sits on top of your primary color. So you wanna make sure that your color that you choose is quite saturated so that for clients with visual impairments, they still will be able to read what's on your online book insight. So we're gonna change this so it's darker. 
Great. If you have a secondary color, you could also add it here in the accent color area. So let's save that. You might notice that the Jane blue up here doesn't change to the permanent color you chose. That's because this only changes the colors in your online book site and not on the admin side. So let's see how the online book site is looking. So we're going to go up here to the top right and we're going to look at the online book insight. Great, so there's your online book insight so far. Now let's add in a logo to go with this. We're going to go back to the branding area and we're going to go to the logo area and we're going to add a file. I'm adding a file here with a transparent background because I'm going to add in a background later on. Now we're going to add in an email header. This email header is going to be sitting inside the emails that get sent to your clients. If you're wondering what sizes to upload, we do recommend them here. So the next thing we're going to upload is the online booking background. We really recommend that you choose quite a simple background something like a pattern or a texture, something that will also go well with your logo and your primary colors that you've chosen. So we're going to add in my background. Great, now we're just going to upload it and see how our online book insight is looking so far. You'll notice that you have some previews of the images that you have uploaded. Now let's go back to the online book insight and refresh. Great, now this is how your online book site is looking. You can see that the background is very simple. We didn't want anything too fussy or anything that's going to take away from your logo. So that's everything on the branding side. From all of us at Jane, we wanted to thank you for stopping by and watching our demo. Of course, if you ever have any questions, we love hearing from you. Our email is support at janeapp.com. All right, and now we're gonna do a few more questions. I do wanna remind you that if you wanna watch these videos again, they are on the Jane uh, sponsor page at the IFS website um, and find it from healthyseminars.com on the top menu. Um, you will see the, um, the, uh, the IFS uh, um, link, and then you can go to the Jane page to um, to watch those videos. They also have a telehealth video on there as well. So do check that out. Um, that's a, about a 60 minute lecture and it's really informative. All right, we got some more questions and we got some polls to do too, because we're kind of curious where people are at here, whether you're new to Jane, like haven't switched over yet, or if you've been using it for a while. So we're gonna do another poll, please answer that. And Alex, some questions for you. Yeah. Can Jane connect to Wellevate or Fullscript? Yeah, great question. Um, as of right now, we don't connect to Wellovate, but I can say we have a direct integration with Fullscript. So if you're looking to um, you know, prescribe your patients directly from Fullscript, you can definitely integrate that into Jane. Um, head into Jane, go and chart with for your patient, and then uh, do all of your recommendations, build some templates even if you have some common cases, and then you can just click those and send it right to your patient. So then they will know, you know what, to, what to purchase, what uh, is coming to them, and you can even implement uh, structure to it. Like if you need someone to take this pill or this supplement once every two weeks, you can also alter that in Jane and it'll be then tracked in their medical record too. So definitely we can integrate with Fullscript. And I'll just mention, I, um, Alex, you may not even be aware of this, but Jane and Fullscript, we've been in conversations with them, um, with the group Mark um, Sklar and Amy Rope, who are amazing online health experts where really, really grew their telehealth practice where they're seeing patients and consulting them online and using full script um, to sell them their products, their supplements they need. Um, if you go to that same sponsor page, there's a, a sponsor called Rise, Transform and Impact. And I've, I've joined them as well. And they've created a mentorship program. And again, Jane's going to be involved in this as well, because mm -hmm. we're going to be using the Jane software and the full script on how to do social media, how to really develop the telehealth so you can have a hybrid practice or go full online, whatever you like. But um, I've joined two uh, practitioners have done it successfully. And again, using Jane and um, Fullscript. So I just kind of want to let you guys know that's on the sponsorship page. Go to the uh, Rise Transform Impact under the gold sponsoring, you'll find that. Um, 
Is it for, can it be, you, you talked about the multiple disciplinary clinics, uh, more than one practitioner, multiple locations. Can it be beneficial? And do you have a program for solo practitioners? Yeah, that's a great question. And and Jane, um, everything in Jane is intended to help automate your practice. So all of the things that a multidisciplinary clinic can use, also a solo practitioner can use. Whether you, I, I saw in the chat here, someone was asking about like a virtual assistant, if they could also help you with that. And Jane definitely can um, integrate with like a virtual assistant sort of system. We have tons of practitioners in the past who have done that. Um, they, you can create them a basically a or an account in your Jane Clinic. They can come in, they can help you schedule, they can uh, move things around if you need to. They can even help start on your charts if you really wanted them to, but I don't know if you want to. <laughs> um, there's lots of different customizations you can do. If uh, Jane works just as well as, uh, as a solo practitioner as she will as a uh, multidisciplinary clinic. And if you have any questions about that, if you have any, you know, questions about running it as a solo practitioner, please reach out to us as well. Um, you can, we, we'd love to hear about your practice, whatever it might be, and we can even run a demo for you and we can show you what it would look like directly in Jane too. Um, one of my most needed items is a printable super bill that I can email or hand to my patients. Yep. Yeah, that's a great question. And uh, we definitely have that in our insurance plan. Um, so with, with Jane, you can then track all of your billing codes and if you need to create a super bill for a patient right beside our pay button, you can just click a button, click super bill and either a PDF will be generated or you can even just email it directly to the patient so that they can print it out too. Um, is there a dedicated team in the UK? Yeah, great question. Uh, we do have a dedicated team in the UK. We have dedicated teams across the world. So uh, if you're a UK clinic and you call in to Jane, you're going to get a, a UK representative. Um, same thing if you're a US, rep or US clinic and you call in from the US, you're going to talk to someone who's going to be representing our US customer support team and vice versa. And then um, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but in the demo that we just saw in the video, they talked about the charting and that many clinics and practitioners have shared their chart templates. So there's a library so you can start that, pull that, download that, and then start to modify for your own liking. There is a question related to that. Are all the forms in English, are any translated yet? For example, they want one in Dutch. Yeah, that's a great question. And as Jane grows, uh, more and more of those chart templates are going to uh, have you know different languages. You might have to do a little bit of searching as Quite a few of them are in English right now. Um, but that being said, also all of Jane can be translated to any sort of different language. If the language that you speak or uh, your patients speak or whatever it might be isn't listed on our list, reach out to us and we can definitely get that implemented too. So whether it's you know Dutch, English, anything, um, all of Jane can be translated. So then all of your intake forms you send to patients will then also be uh, in that language too. Back to the super bill. Yep. Will that super bill look like the standard CMS 1500 form or look like something else? Great question, actually. And it's funny because we can actually generate both a CMS 1500 form. So if you need to do paper submissions for your insurance, you can do that. The super bills themselves will look a little bit different. Um, they're not going to be so uh, like formatted into that red kind of grid box that you have. It'll just be more so of like a piece of paper. It'll look sort of like an invoice or a receipt. It'll have all of the diagnosis codes, the billing codes, the pointers that associate with those billing codes and such, and then the prices that uh, you've associated to. So everything that you need on Superbill, we've it's tried and true. Many clinics have been using them specifically just for Superbill. So um, it definitely helps speed up that process. Um, does Jane integrate with QuickBooks? Uh, yeah, we definitely have a whole bunch of billers that integrate their uh, their Jane information with QuickBooks. I can't say it's a direct integration. We can export all of the information that we have um, that we have in Jane into QuickBooks. And I do believe we actually have some webinars available on our Jane videos page about that. Um, so there are uh, <laughs> I can't exactly say how much I've never actually implemented with QuickBooks myself, but we definitely do have videos and guides on Jane available. So if you need to do that, uh, we have that content there for you. And for pricing ideas, because there's some specific questions, contact mm. Jane directly for that one. I think that's the best thing because some of you are asking very specific questions for your situation. That basically just contact Jane. I think that will be a really good idea to find out about all the pricing. They do have a special offer um, for new users. So again, go to the Jane um, page on um, on healthy seminars, as I mentioned, um, on the if you go to the IFS website, 
and you get to sponsors on Jane, here it is. It's IFS one month as a numeral one, and that will give you a discount. And then you can obviously go to the website. And if you've forgotten, contact them and say, what was your coupon <laughs> IFS? And I'm sure they're good guys that way and gals. <laughs> And it's a comprehensive software. Like it's one of those things that keeps evolving. I know from our clinic, we send you guys wish list and uh, eventually it shows up, you know, if it's a common thing that you guys can do. So, and, and you guys are really great at responding when COVID happened in 2020 and um, we needed telehealth. Um, you had a thing going beta and you made it available right away. And we use this now in our practice. Um, even now, um, it's expanded our practice because people that would come were like kind of in your local area, but because of telehealth, a lot of our initial visits are done on telehealth and cause they don't have to travel and it's spread our, our area. And then we get that first consult and then some of them just do the consults and we send them products, um, supplements and herbs. And then those that are willing to make the, the commute come to us for our acupuncture and our IV. So it's a really it was a really good uh, lifesaver for us and we've continued to use it. So thank you very much. Um, somebody asked, are there consent to treatment templates in your library? Yeah, uh, there definitely are consent to treatment. Um, I mean, there's probably hundreds of them that you could find. <laughs> um, you can also then add those to your, your intake form or whatever it might be, and then customize them however you would like them specifically to be. If you need to require a signature, you can have that on there. Um, if you need to, you know, change one of the words or change the actual agreements that people are agreeing to you can also do that too and um it was really easy for us we were with mind body online and it was a really tr easy transition to uh, move over um somebody asked is there an easy way to import clients from various other programs such as alley office united practice yeah and uh, like lauren was saying it's a really easy process to if you have all your stuff already in say mind body uh you know some other software maybe uh, we have a whole imports team dedicated to getting your information into jane so all you really have to do is head in sign up for a jane account tell us what you're going to be bringing over click a couple buttons and then uh upload that that information into the proper spot spot in jane it's really easy it's just dragging and dropping and if there's any questions or if there's any problems with that our imports team will be in touch with you the whole way through so um they want to get your information into jane properly and so that you can then use it within, you know, the next couple of days. <laughs> Excellent. And they, the Jane group has demos, uh, videos available on their site. So if you're looking to kind of play with it or see what it's like, or they'll set up demos with you. Again, mm -hmm. we're a clinic that uses it. So we're quite happy with it. And then obviously, um, thanks uh, to the Jane team for being always a supporter of the Integrated Fertility Symposium. And we're looking forward to you being part of the uh, mentorship that Mark Sklar, Amy Ropp, and myself are going to be doing called Rise, Transform, and Impact as well. Um, the recordings for this, you can find it on the Healthy Seminars Facebook page. You can find it on the Integrated Fertility Symposium Facebook page. You can find it on the Healthy Seminars YouTube page. You can find it in our community library for Healthy Seminars with the subscription to our other lectures, 195 and growing. And it's also available to anybody, whether you're registered with the IFS or not, on the IFS website. When you get to the IF, uh, IFS website from Healthy Seminars, just click on Sponsors. Jane is the platinum at the top. And then you'll see in there the intro video that we played earlier from Alex. And then we have the two videos that we played just here now, the 14-minute and 11-minute one. And then below that, we have a 59-minute one, which we recorded a year ago to talk about using telehealth and the Jane features as well. Um, and then, oh, one more question, then we're going to call it a call it a call it a webinar. Um, can you enter data? Uh, how do you enter data? iPad, PC, both? Yeah, great question. Um, Jane's a dynamic software, so anything, any device that can really run uh, like a a browser, whether it's Safari, we recommend Google Chrome typically. Um, you can, if it's an iPad, if it's an iPhone, you can chart on it, you, you can schedule from it. Jane's going to shrink and mold to fit whatever device you use. Um, so whether it's a laptop, PC, iPad, your phone, anything can open Jane and you can run your whole practice on it. Uh, I did see one other question, if you don't mind me asking, or yeah. just seeing this. Um, and it was asking about if you can experiment with templates and such without signing up for Jane. You definitely can. We have a demo site available for you. Um, so if you want to reach out to our support team, they can give you the password and the login information, or you can even book a demo with us and we'll send that information to you as well so that you can then hop onto our demo clinic, play around with the templates, see what might work for your clinic and if Jane would actually uh, fit your needs. So 
definitely reach out to us if you like, or just book a demo on our website and we can definitely get you that. Excellent. <laughs> and um, a follow-up question on your iPad phone one, because I use, I once forgot uh, my computer when I go on site at the IVF clinic and I had my phone. So I was able to log in and do my whole treatment with my phone there. Um, do you guys have, or I, I was thinking about bringing, so I use my laptop in my practice and sometimes my phone. If I was going to go through a tablet or iPad, do you have one that you think right now works better with Jane? Is it the iPad or is it a tablet? Do you have a preference? If you were going to say, if you're going to buy one, this is what we recommend because you want to use it with Jane? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I can't recommend one over the other. It's really what you're most comfortable with. If you like using iPads and you like the functionality of, you know, Mac's software and all that, perfect. It, Jane's going to work totally fine with it. Just open Safari, type in your Jane URL, and you'll be right there. If you tend to prefer like a, a Surface Edge or something like that, uh, and you like Windows, by all means, use that, and uh, you can load Jane up on there too. Again, it's really it's cloud it's cloud based, so it's really, exactly. it doesn't matter, right? It's cloud based, right. so everything that you are going to do, whether you're entering your stuff on your iPad. You could go to your PC the next second, and all of that information will be there as well. So it's cloud-based, like Lauren said, load it up on any device. Um, you can even go into the stores and type in your Jane URL if you want to, or the demo clinic URL, and you could then see how it looks on there too. All right. Again, I want to thank Jane for being a platinum sponsor supporting the IFS. Um, thank you for putting together these lectures um, because so many people want to go electronic and then you just made it an all in one. So we don't have to have 10 different softwares running to run our clinics. You've really narrowed it down so we can just use one. And uh, reminding you guys that they have the coupon code IFS one month, the numeral one. And so go to the Jane website, talk to them. If you have more questions, they have many more videos. And we thank you for joining us. And Alex, thanks for coming on for the Q&A as well. Absolutely. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Bye, everybody.